Hello everybody, this is Seth Fish with Harding University Circe Summer Dinner Theater, and I'm here to talk to you today about our play that goes wrong, uh, Second Floor. So, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, what this platform is, is a cantilevered steel platform on a single hinge point. Uh, all right, now I got covered in all sorts of wood and lumber, but if you looked under this frame, it would all be a steel frame. Let's see if you look up under there. Yeah, I can't really see it. Um, so yeah, it's a steel framed platform with uh, a cantilever on the back. And let's just go right in the back and show you. Do, 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 do. So backstage, I'll talk more about this backstage area in another video. Please pardon our mess while we just had a show last night. All right, so here it is. Here is the steel structure backstage and its motion. So what I've got, is like I said, I got a, steel, a cantilever steel platform. Uh, and here's this cantilever point. It is an all steel inch and a half bar that's eight feet long. It goes through four pillow blocks that are connected to this giant wooden structure monstrosity I've got over here. And then <clears throat> what happens is then if you look, that pipe is going through, excuse me, two inch box steel right there. That box steel is what's welded to the rest of this frame. So pillow blocks are connected to the rod that goes through the frame and the pillow blocks are connected to the floor and the wooden structure and the two by two metal is welded to the rest of the frame. So whenever it moves, this is its hitch point right here, where it moves and kind of rubs on all this stuff. Um, what we got is a weight control system. I've got it so that I have barbells that I've covered in uh, burlap and cloth to avoid the sound of it cla uh, clatter clattering and clicking when it's being loaded and unloaded and moving during the show. Um, but we got a bunch of weight on there and that people go and load and unload depending on the needs of the show. I think we had to unload load on weight once or twice, uh, two times in the show total. So it's not really bad. So how it moves. You see this inverted gear looking part of plywood on both sides. What we do is when it's time for the motion to happen, I have a crew member on each side. And what they do is they grab this pipe. They lift up the pipe. They swing the structure and lock the pipe back into the next slot. So this is what it's at when the platform is regular flat most of the show. And when it's time for the first fall, they have the weight that matches the weight of the people up there, out there. So they're not lifting any weight really. It's a very smooth process. They don't have to man, they don't have to grab and really hustle or pull, but it's easily pull up, swing over, lock in, and they're good to go. And it's the same thing again, is to readjust the weights because now the platform is in an angle and there's different people and different scenery pieces on the platform. They readjust the weight and when it's time, again, they just grab the bar, lift it up out of its socket, swing it over and then lock it to the next one. And uh, this has been really successful. I've been really thankful by how this has worked um, because one, it I feel like it is safe two, it is doable, and three, the locking position and the motion really makes the platform have a really smooth fall when they do it. Uh, so a couple other things we wanna talk about though for this platform is the onstage aspect. So right now, the platform, they, you know, they use all of act one and stuff to kind of jump on it and run around. I need that to be solid. So because the platform's cantilevered out here eight feet, it bounces some. Um, the structure's stable. When we first installed it, we installed it and I kind of jumped on the edge of it and, you know, it bounced some, kind of like a little bit of like a diving board, but I wasn't going anywhere. But, you know, we don't want the actors doing that. We want the illusion that it's stable until it's time for it to not be stable and go. And that's where the second leg comes into play. So what happens is when it comes time and uh, Arthur the gardener comes, he knocks out this beam and then suddenly the platform starts shaking and that makes the platform shake and the actors get afraid. 
the actors are fine. They're not, the platform is not going to move and it's not going to break or they're not going to fall off of it, but it does give it that little bit of wobble that makes it really funny when the effect happens. The one secret I want to talk to people about though, though is, so in this platform right there, that corner makes that corner stable, but this corner is not stable. So what we had to do is it still moved when people walked on it. And so we just added a little three fourth by three, uh, three, three fourth by three fourths metal bar into right here. And that goes into the backstage. And so when it came time for the move to happen, someone backstage came and just pulled out that bar to give it so that it was released from the set. And then when he came, he kicked out that bar, then the platform was ready to rock and roll and fall down. Uh, and that's pretty much how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll see back here. So yeah, so he's just got a little bar right here that he just kind of... We just kind of put a little handle on. So yeah, we, so to show that this thing doesn't isn't meant to take weight, it's just for stability, if you'll notice, it's just a simple little bar screwed onto this pole and it's just got some two by four going through and that's all it needed to do to provide that stability because there's no weight on that. All weight is on the machine, all control is on the machine and nothing is meant to be left to the actors. It is always in control by the crew. Uh, what, what we did to test it is when we first got it, I put this machine on each level without weight and I, we, I jumped on it, I shook it, I played with it and made sure, and it was not going anywhere. It was locked pretty stable. The only thing I can say is there's been a little bit about, about it is there's a little bit of bending happening right here in the bar. And that first happened, it really freaked me out, but the platform wasn't quite square when it was constructed. It was, it, it was, it was fairly square, but not quite. And so when we installed it, that this this thing settled some and bent a little, its bar a little bit at there to kind of equal out. But since then, it, it, that was the very first day. But after that, it hasn't moved any. Uh, we've checked our welds daily. We we go through and we spend about an hour every day before rehearsal, or before our performance in rehearsal, doing all of our fight call and going through all of our motions and inspecting everything. So yeah, that's how we did it. All right, let's get a good view of it from backstage of the motion. So here you see the technicians on standby. They're on headset with the stage manager waiting for the review of the call. All the weights preloaded and they're hanging out and this is the movement to the full collapse. So they're standing, they're waiting on standby. They get the cue to go. They swing up, they swing it in, they lock in. They tell the stage manager that they are locked in and then they go and they add weight on it just to make sure that this is the final place it sits in. They have plenty of weight so it doesn't move and wiggle since people spend the rest of the show kind of running up and down it. So it's nice and secure backstage and it isn't going anywhere. Let's look at this from the front now. From the front, uh, our technician was named Tina instead of Terry. So she has her episode and then there's a line on the ground telling her to not go past so she knows where to sit. Now the collapse is, watch the actor. He's looking at the stage manager booth and he waits till he sees a go from the stage manager before he slides because we didn't want him sliding off if that platform wasn't locked backstage. So he sits there in control until it's time and then when he's cued, he slides down there for, for safety purposes. So it's important to have all that communication going on during these motions. So that's how we did the second floor collapse in a nutshell. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from someone who's done this a different way. I had a couple of different ideas about how to, uh, about how to do this uh, effect before I solidified on this one, but there's a couple of equally good op options out there. I'd love to see what people come up with. That's the fun of the technical theater. That's the fun of this play, seeing what your creativity can do. So go out there, make a good play that goes wrong. Your audience is going to have fun. Your crew, your cast is going to have fun. Be safe, be healthy, and go entertain those people. So I'll talk to you later. <laughs>